For this circuit, please find the voltage across and the charge stored in each capacitor. Here we have two capacitors in parallel and then together they are in series with this capacitor. They are in series, so they have to share the voltage. That means in this case, no single capacitor gets all the five volts. For this problem, it may be easier for us to look at its equivalent circuit. So we can start with these two in parallel. When capacitors are in parallel, we add the capacitance to find their equivalent. So the equivalent to this is 2 plus 8, 10 nanofarad. So the equivalent circuit for this is that. We can use the, the equivalent for this one, 10 nanofarad, to replace this part. The 10 and the 15, they are in series. So they have to share the 5 volts, but they get the same charge. So Q equals to CV, they get the same charge. That means uh, the one with the larger capacitance will get less voltage. The capacitance is uh, 10 to 15, 2 to 3. That means uh, the voltage would be 3 to 2. That means uh, for this one, it gets uh, 3 fifths of the total voltage. Of course, uh, the 3 fifths, the 5 volts, now is uh, 3 volts. So this one gets 3 volts, and then the other one gets 5 minus 3, 2 volts. The voltage is 3 to 2. That means uh, the 15 nanofarad gets 2 volts. And to find the charge, we can use uh, Q equals to CV. So C times V, 15 nano times 2, we get 30 nano coulombs. The 10 nanofarad gets uh, 3 volts, but this 10 nanofarad is really these two in parallel. If capacitors are in parallel, that means that they get the same voltage. They get the same voltage as this one, their equivalent, they get 3 volts each. So the voltage is 3 volts. 3 volts. They get same 3 volts. So the charge is C times V. That will be 2 nano times 3, 6 nano coulombs. And this will be 8 nano times 3 and uh, 24 nano coulombs. We can check our work by looking at the charges. These two, they are in series, so they get the same amount of charge. The 15 nanofarad gets 30 nanocoulombs. That means this one gets 30 nanocoulombs as well, except for this one is really those two in parallel. For two capacitors in parallel, they share the total charge. So this one's 30 nanocoulombs is being shared by those two. And if you add 6 to 24, that's 30, so everything is fine. If you don't want to use ratio over here, we can also find the, their equivalent capacitance first. They are in series, so to find the equivalent capacitance, we use the 1 over equation. So this will be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 15, and this gives us the common denominator 30, 3 plus 2 on the top, and this will give us 1 over 6. That means the equivalent capacitance is 6 nanofarad. And uh, that means the equivalent charge, the charge on the equivalent capacitance, or the equivalent capacitor will be C times V. The equivalent capacitance is 6 nano, and uh, they get the voltage. 5 volts, so it is 30 nanocoulombs. So in this case, we find the charge first because they are in series, they get the same charge, they get the same charge, 30 nanocoulombs. That means we find the 30 nanocoulombs on the 15 nanofarad first, and then we will be able to find the voltage.